So good to see you back in the office. Megan Smith can greet coworkers face to face now instead of virtually. The head of human resources is managing the return to office plans for software giant SAP in Vancouver. Just as we needed time to become comfortable with working from home, people need time to become comfortable working from an office again. Smith says the majority of their employees want a hybrid work model. So the company will give them the flexibility of working from home, along with some face time at the office. If you're a new employee or you're earlier in your career, it's really important to have role modeling and a lot of that behavior happens through in-person interaction. Most offices that are reopening have increased hygiene measures, plus capacity limits and rules around mask wearing. Vancouver tech startup Hootsuite is also starting to bring employees back in a hybrid way. It isn't a top-down approach where employers are saying you must come in or you must work from home. Hootsuite downsized and redesigned its offices to prepare for a post-pandemic world with some perks to draw office workers back. We've done things like install um, bike and treadmill desks, which are really cool. Um, we have a wellness room for nursing mothers or for employees who meditate or pray. Experts say in this tight labor market, employers will need those kinds of perks and continued flexibility to keep staff. What this experiment has really taught us is that there are a relatively large number of jobs that really can be done in a more flexible way. Back at SAP, Smith says flexibility may be the new normal. We have much more cultural acceptance now of working remote. And my feeling is hybrid work is here to stay. So for some workers, heading to the office five days a week may never happen again. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.